That's the ball. Bro, like they're dick eating, bro. Did that fit the nigga? I'm done. <sighs> but Why y'all getting me 15 and you're dunked on by Chris? Hit your man in the corner. Tell me how to play. I get a clip. Oh yeah, I forgot you did. Don't pass to me last second either, bro. You gotta shoot it. Don't pass it. Nope. 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 Ah! Clippy oh clip. Clippy clip. It's supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? YouTube! Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And look man, I have cracked the build system. I'm here to let a lot of y'all, I'm gonna also let y'all know about the build system in 2K has officially cast another infinite Tushinami Gong, however you say that shit. <laughs> They've done it, and we gonna get into that, my boy. It, it, it ain't sound too good. First, make sure y'all subscribe if you new, man. Help me hit 300K. Do me a favor, hit that like button and turn on post notices. Gonna be on all the news, all the best builds, best jump shots, hilarious gameplay, all that. So look. 2K tweeted out, man. Tag someone that should join next makers, right? Now look, this is basically like the logo. <laughs> but just on like a deeper level for I guess like all their games, but now it's like a double logo, my nigga. So what this is gonna create, it's gonna make even more creators silent about the game, you know, cape for the game. So I don't like it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I, I think it's terrible, man. It's just like a, a carrot stick so you know they can make 2K do what they want, man. The whole reason the logo exists is so they can create their own narrative and their own influence on how their game is viewed. It's it's not to reward creators, man. That, that's why this whole thing is, it, is in place, my nigga. You know, because narratives become the truth. So I don't know, hopefully 22 is a good game so we don't really need people to speak out about it and shit and like people are just caping for it. You know, hopefully it's cool, but you know, it says dev access, you know, niggas already got dev access. Niggas don't need dev access, bro. Like people make video, people been making thousands of videos about 2K, <laughs> 2K for since forever, bro. They're, the information's out there. What niggas want is out there. Y'all don't need you know, to to really have dev access. No reason to be excited for that. Shout out to the niggas if they giving y'all a bag that, you know, you got a bag, but I don't know. Hopefully the game good so this don't really play a role into anything. You know, exclusive info. Y'all remember how they flew out niggas to uh, community day and shit? And like how they juiced, I don't remember. Well, basically everyone like the way they would come back with exclusive info and shit, you know, annoying, got a big boost off of that. You know, because they would tell him and then he would come back and, you know, now you're being real about 2K since he don't, he don't need it no more. Right? That's how it always be, bro. But then while they in it, they like, you know, they're like bashing people who's like roasting the game and all that shit. But, hey, man, if, if they really deliver that exclusive info type of shit, man, that that's really going to silence like a lot of creators and it's going to be harder for, you know, change to happen. But I'm always keeping a hundred for you guys. You know, let, let, let's check out this trailer. Then we're going to get into the, the build system for 2K22. <laughs> you know, these people, I don't know these people. I don't know these people. Oh, they got stacks, Troy Dan. You know? Doing a yes. Me. yes, come on, Why? <laughs> I wonder what they get, bro. Do they get a bag? Oh, 
hold on, let's let's click the hashtag. We spent roughly 18 months, blah blah blah. Bridge the gap between creator and publisher. Yeah, y'all niggas just trying to create an infinite. Oh shit, they got a box, nigga. Oh, oh, niggas is definitely. Niggas is definitely gonna keep silence for this shit. What the fuck? Man, this shit look clean. Oh, they got a mic? A stream deck? Oh, they gotta be getting a check. Oh, they got Dignify? Oh, no. They, they got, he got a jersey? No, no, that, that gotta be his. Okay, we got somebody else. Juice. Iggy Mo, Truly. Oh, niggas is... Oh, niggas is gonna be... Niggas gonna keep that mouth silent, bro. Fuck. I guess it's up to me to save y'all. <laughs> Uncle Debbie. Who else they got, bro? Damn, they got D-Man. Oh. Oh. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. But um, anyway, let's talk about this build system, man. So um, make sure y'all check out my last video. I go in depth about all these badges, etc. But look, what I want to show to y'all in this video is look how the badge points earn says 32. So this could possibly mean, you know, zero out of 32. 30 has always been the max. This could possibly mean that now you have a a breaker for over 30 bro that would be insane like you could be even more pinpoint with how you want your badges like say you want 40 shooting and 10 playmaking and like zero defense like i don't know why you would do that but i don't know bro but maybe maybe this is just for you know the w online but it's looking like and also, you know, demigod builds, you know, because this is like 78 badges or something. And, you know, that's basically like it, it's look like, looks looking like it's confirmed for 2K22. And a lot of people were bitching and complaining and all this. Right. But, bro, you guys are stupid, bro. The reason next gen is the way it is, isn't because of the demigod builds, bro. Y'all understand that? It's because of the gameplay sliders, bro. Contact Duncan and none of that shit has never been like that before. All this does is make it to where now it's not no role playing shit, bro. Superstar 2K is always the best 2K, always. Y'all niggas love my team. 2K16, best 2K. Niggas was two ways, you didn't have to rely on your lock. None of that bullshit. You could do everything yourself, you know? Just like in real life when you a superstar. That role player shit, that's for ass 2K players, man. That, you know, a lot of people, they don't like this superstar shit because, you know, they don't get to play their role because there's another nigga that's better than them on the team. But I'm telling you, just overall, it's a superstar 2K. It's better. I'm not talking about like broken demigods, these seven foot that shit broken but i'm saying where your build can do everything you know the best game plays was 15 well 14 15 and 16 and then when they started doing the role play shit shit, shit started to get weak man you know because then there's there's still builds out there that could still do everything so then everyone just goes and makes that build anyway there's always demigods in every 2k you know any the the, the demigods in 15 or the like the broken builds in 15 they're not as good as the broken builds in fucking 18 or 19. You know, they're just not. Like, those stretch bigs were the like the best builds that's ever been in a 2K because of the gameplay, how it played, the contest system, you know, the movement system, the dexing, the burst, all, all that shit. It, it's the gameplay. It's the developers, my nigga. In every, every 2K, there's always been builds that have a 99 dunk and can speed boost. There's always been builds like that and have a high three. There's always been builds like that. So why did next gen play so different? Because of the gameplay, not the builds, not the badges. I'm telling you, man, that's what it is. So instead of like, I think I think y'all's focus when y'all get on Twitter and y'all start complaining or Reddit or whatever the fuck y'all do, man, 
I think the focus y'all need to have is to have them balance the game, bro. You know, if someone got the correct stats and they're in front of somebody and them niggas have the super high stats too, if something's contested, it should miss most of the time, okay? 90% of the time. That makes the game amazing. Predictability. Not random shit going in. All these stupid-ass contact dunks. I could understand on little-ass players and shit like that. But if a nigga got 30 defensive badges, 20 defensive badges, good ratings, jumps at you, all that shit, and you still yam on that nigga, that shit is lame. And you're not even in takeover and shit, that shit is lame. You know? Shit is lame. Interior defense gotta matter. Contest gotta matter. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about um the badge points earned. Y'all like it more than 30? I don't really know how I feel about it. Uh, I think shit gonna get kind of crazy. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh builds having all these badges, man. And also, like for a content perspective, it's better to have builds limited, you know? Um for like you know youtubers and shit but from a gameplay perspective superstar builds is the is the is the way bro it, it really is for more fun overall and y'all as consumers i think y'all should want you know superstar gameplay you know it just got to be balanced superstar gameplay you know but youtubers i understand why you want shit limited so you could make a bunch of builds and all this other shit get a bunch of views but yeah like like i see both sides all all i want is is everyone to love the game that's all i really want my nigga so you know because i'm trying to get my views and you know shit like that i don't really give a fuck but yeah man y'all let me know what 2k y'all think nba 2k 22 is gonna play like y'all make sure you subscribe if you new, man turn on post notice and go check out my other video hit the fucking like button bitch don't be selfish nigga but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this for when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome